What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? For the hat, you know, it's cold outside. My ears are still cold and my head's still cold, so that's why I'm wearing the hat, just in case you guys are curious about it. I'm still cold. I'm still cold. My body's fine. My head's cold still. I don't know why. But anyway, anyway, anyway. <sighs> I was well, so I was watching the highlights, actually the highlights of the game for uh, the 76ers versus the Miami Heat and D Wade. Scored 27 points, hit the game winner right in Ben Simmons' face. In his face. Take that and like it, little boy. Take it. But, anyway. So, the next day, or today, rather, I was watching the uh, uh, first take, and they were talking about, is um, D. Wade, when his whole career is said and done, people are, people are unsure if he's going to play next year, but whatever. Let's say he retires after this year. Will he be overrated? Will, will he will he be underrated? And I was talking, I was thinking to myself, D Wade, underrated, Flash, Flash, underrated. And then I then I was talking to a couple of my friends, and they said the most <sighs> shocking thing I, I I I thought they could say. They say, you know what, he might go down as overrated. And I'm sitting here thinking, I'm sorry, what? Are you smoking right now? Are you high? Is 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 this real life? Are we in the Matrix? Is there a spoon? And I'm thinking to myself, I was like, okay, what 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 what, what do you think? Why do you think he can he is overrated? Well, he only won one championship by himself. He had a team up with LeBron James and Chris Bosh. And I'm thinking to myself, huh? Okay. Because in my mind, in my mind, D Wade, D Wade, honestly, minimum he's top three shooting guard of all time, top three. But I could make an argument top two, Jordan, Kobe. Uh, he's got he can be there somewhere in there with Kobe. I'm a Laker fan, so obviously I, I might be a little biased, but whatever. But to me. D Wade, I can see him being underrated because his uh because a lot of injuries he had shortened his prime. But man, D Wade is a beast in my mind. I don't think you can, I I think it's absurd to say he's overrated because I'm gonna go on record and this is a direct quote. D Wade had the best finals performance ever seen by a individual player who was responsible for his team winning a ring. And I'm talking about the uh, his second year, which was uh, 2006, where he went. He was down 0-2. He was down 0-2 to the Dallas Mavericks. 0-2. He's in his second year. Shaq was there. He, in my personal opinion, at that time, Shaq was a step and a half from just being washed up and needing to walk through that door called retirement. In my personal opinion. They had uh, Gary Payton, who wasn't really the glove. He wasn't the glove at that point. He was just Gary. Uh, Haslam, I think, was on that team, and he, he was he was he was pretty good. But for the most part, D Wade was that team. He single handedly after they went down 0-2, he single handedly couldn't be stopped. He demoralized the Dallas Mavericks. He put the Miami Heat back on the map. And he put the team on his back and said, I'm still go to work. I mean, he 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 for the most part was so dominant that I, he was the only guy I thought, well, wow, I don't care if you double this dude. He still can't be stopped. He still can't be stopped. And I thought that Now that's not to say that Jordan or Kobe, they didn't put up great performances, but they also had other other pieces who were either in their prime or just on the outskirts of being out of their prime. When Shaq and the, all the other guys I mentioned, they were there. They 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 weren't really. Shaq wasn't really Diesel. He wasn't Diesel at that point. I mean, he wasn't Shaquille like in Boston. He was still Shaq, but he wasn't Diesel. They weren't playing the Superman thing when he got off the bench. So I, I just think that performance that that elevates him. On a whole nother level, to at least uh, top three in my mind, um, 
when he did get the uh, other two superstars and Chris Bosh and LeBron James, he still was a great part of that team. I don't think they win a championship without D Wade on those teams. So I get I got to give give credit to uh, to D Wade. He's had a great career. I'm sorry. Don't, don't let me disrespect D Wade right now. Let me call him Flash. Flash. Flash had a great career. I think he's. I think at most he's underrated, but that man, that's that, that's a grown man, that's a bad boy. And here's one thing, I, I gotta look at the stats for this, but he's gotta be the best two guard that blocks shots. I've never seen anybody block so many shots like I, like D Wade. I've seen. I remember in the finals when they when they went against the uh, Mavericks again, when they lost when LeBron James and Chris Bosh first got there. I remember him going head up with uh, Tyson Chandler. At the rim, and he he was able to block it, and I'm like, wait, how tall is D Wade? I thought he was only six four. And Tyson Chandler, everybody knows, is seven feet, so that's impressive. Like he he he's a great defender. Uh, he can get you buckets whenever you want. He's clutch. He's clutch, which a lot of people like to bring that up. Skip Bayless, he hits last second shots, as you saw against Ben Simmons in the 76ers. So you can't say there's there's really no knock on him that you can say, except for maybe after he won a championship, he uh, he never got back to it again after by himself, by himself. But if you look at it, the team really blew up after after that that championship run in '06. Or you could say, you know what, I, I needed to see more of him in his prime because he had a lot of injuries. But for me personally. I don't think he's remotely overrated, and I think I can see him. People saying five, ten years down the line, down down the line, that he is underrated. But come on, to say he's overrated, disrespectful, disrespectful. Just stop it, stop it. It's a joke. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Is he overrated? Do you think he needs to be taken down a pedestal, or do you think he needs to be elevated several pedestals? Let me know what you guys think, or do you think, hey? D-Way, he is where he's supposed to be. Let me know what you guys think. As always, thanks for watching. For watching, excuse me. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Letter of Sports Show. I'm out.